All right. And reading today is from Joshua on this beautiful Thursday, chapter 3. The Lord said to Joshua, Today I will begin to exalt you in the sight of all of Israel, that I, they may know I am with you as I was with Moses. And I command the priests carrying the Ark of the Covenant to come to a halt in the Jordan when you reach the edge of the waters. And so what happened then? They get the edge of the waters, the River Jordan, and Moses went through the Red Sea. Remember how the waters divided? And, well, we don't hear too much about the with Joshua and the, river, and the River Jordan, but that's exactly you know, what happened. The, the waters halted, and they were able to walk across. Funny, they don't get the same rep as uh, Moses got. You know, a movie about it, Ten Commandments, is quite the same, but even that. You know how God provides. People might have been a little upset. You know, Moses is gone, and they might have missed the good old days. Where, oh, we wish we had Moses, and that's when God really was acting in our life. And we say, guess what? God does not stop. All right, Moses came, he fulfilled his mission, and now Joshua picks up the mantle, and God is with him as well. So we don't get discouraged. That, you know, we look back on the days and think, oh, that's when the good days were, you know, whatever that might, may be for you, you know. Oh, no. But God was operative in the past, he'd be operative in the present, and he'd be operative in the future. God will never leave us. God will never abandon us. Amen.